So, Noob Noob, what's your hot take on Witcher Season 2? Needs more boobies. Needs more boobies. All right. We're going to talk about Witcher Season 2 because we want to. Because we liked it. I think we liked it, right? I mean, yes. Yes? I like that it had Henry Cavill. Spoilers. We're going to go through spoilers. We're going to try to figure out what in the world happened in The Witcher in general and Witcher Season 2. Because um, we're not sure. I think I know what happened, but it's a little... Good. I feel like they left episodes out and I don't There exactly was a lot know. of explaining and not a lot of boobs. And not a lot of showing of any... Like <laughs> <laughs> showing anything or telling us what was going on. Or giving us any real explanations. It was just like stuff happens. So things that happened in it. Um, well, the the weird timeline from season one, I don't remember. That was easier to follow than the different houses and shit that were in this one. <laughs> That's right. They're like Niffle Kittens is trying to take <laughs> over the fairylands. Yeah, this gray castle doesn't like this other gray castle, which also doesn't like that gray castle. Yes, House of Snuffleupagus is, is going in the back door of the elven kingdom. Yes. I and I don't know. Elves are apparently not liked. Well, I remember that from season one. I remember he ran I didn't into remember an elf. There was an elf. There was one elf. Remember, there was like a like a oh that black elf, right? There was that kid. That kid, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was in the second season. He was and in spoilers, by the way. We'll yes. be spoiling all of it, the whole thing. All right, so yeah, he was in it again. Although he had no real role by the end, he didn't do anything. No, he was like a little. Uh, he was a spy, but he didn't do anything. Right? And then he just disappears. I think. I don't yeah. think he dies. No, I'm not saying he dies. He just doesn't do anything. Yeah, he's kind of pointless. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. Okay, so... Also, the Jennifer, main girl, Jennifer is half-elf, I think. She's like a quarter-elf or something like that. Yeah, that's a thing. Quarter-elf, so zero she, boobs. She ends up being a... Uh, she loses her powers, and everybody thinks she's dead. And then the Witcher meets up with Cersei. Or what's her name? Cersei? Siri. Siri. Oh, that was the first episode. Like, basically, it's just them eventually getting back to the Witcher's home base, which if you watched Witcher Season of the Wolf, you'd see a lot of, like, Ves is his name Vesemir? Something. Something. Old white guy. The old guy who was Henry Cavill's, like, Sarah's Daddy. father. Daddy Witcher. Yeah, if you, if you watch, they'll explain a bunch, like, about the tree and the hanging of the little, um medallions dead and witchers stuff. yeah so it's it i really like that that animated uh short or, or whatever movie it was i thought that was really good you should definitely catch it check it out it fills in some of the gaps if you're like oh i don't really know what's going on and, and the whole thing about making more witchers and why there aren't any more i think it, it it kind of fills those those plot holes there uh so then they end up uh series starts training Right, and then you find out that she's like the most important girl in the world because she's, she's like a literal MacGuffin. Yes, she is the MacGuffin. Everybody just wants to steal her. Yeah, they just want to take her. She's like on a MacGuffin train. <laughs> she's a little MacGuffin. They also decided to make her look like a normal human being as opposed to whatever she was in the first season. She didn't. She didn't like have eyebrows or something. She was like real weird looking. Really? Yeah, she was real goofy looking. I don't remember what she looked like in the first season, I guess. Well, do you remember now? Because she's more interesting looking. <laughs> Before, she was like this weird. She looks face. like a normal blonde haired girl. Yes. I didn't remember that she looked differently on the first one. She didn't look. She I, I was too strange. enamored with the boobs in the first season. Uh, there was yes, there. <laughs> that's just real strange. I mean, there there's a little bit of nudity. It's just strange that you go from season one where people were very they liked the violence and they liked the nudity and they liked the cursing and it's you know Game of Thrones esque, right? Yeah. And then you end up in season two where they take it back and they're like, nah won't be as much gore like there'll be some but not as much and there's not going to be as much um other stuff like there's like whole scenes where yennefer and her four 
uh, hot friends are her just four naked hot in a friends bath. Go in, yeah, they go in the hot tub. Why are they, they not get kissing? Na- they are not naked. They don't make out. They don't do anything. There's you don't have magic. No make your own in that hot tub. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> they were gonna. They should have made magic, and they did not. So that's what's crazy about all this. It's just not a. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I, does she have like a? Does Jennifer she's have a not, no nudity clause? She's now? not famous enough for that. Like. Stay in your lane. Stay in and get naked. Stay in your lane. At least get a couple seasons in before you start doing that. Amelia Clark gave it up more than you did. Yeah, I feel like this whole season was almost like a reset for the whole series because nothing, it it didn't move the plot all that much more forward. I don't even know what the the plot was. What were they trying to accomplish other than not have Siri go to the MacGuffin people? The Nilf... Nipple Gardens. The Nilfenheims. Yes. Whatever those guys were, and the other ones that were, I still don't know their goddamn names. The, I the know ones the with one, the owl and the, the. I don't know who those those guys. Yeah, the owl that turned into a chick, like that, like whatever the mother, uh, mother witch that's sleeping with that Indian dude. Don't those know people. who those people. Yeah, the the counts of the Brotherhood of Magic people. Yep. It's it was all very confusing to our feeble minds. I so. feel like if you knew the games, it would make sense. But I didn't play the games. They kept mentioning Wild Hunt, which I know is the third game. Mm-hmm. I think they're gonna do that story for season three, maybe. Sounds like it. I'm hope. I mean, I liked what I saw. The, it, there were some problems with it. One of the biggest problems I felt was anytime Henry Cavill wasn't on screen was a big problem, because the other characters are not strong enough to carry it. I like Yennefer, but them putting her back in like I don't have powers again, like her her story was so meandering, it just didn't make a lot of sense. It's like just travel here and travel there, and eventually you'll get back, but you don't have any powers, like. It just didn't make a ton of sense. And then she splits up. She rescues that dude from the Niflheims. Who's kind of a dick. And then she's like partners with him. And then they just like separate and never talk to each yeah, other again. Yeah, because she wanted to save, uh, what the hell's his name? The Bard. It just doesn't make any sense. He, she just goes away. and it's Yeah, they, like, they don't really have a resolution. She's like, I want to save him. He's like, you're an idiot. And then they just adios. peace out. Yeah, yeah, like everything just happens like weirdly mm-hmm. and randomly. The Bard is kind of annoying. Did you like the new song? Burn he does Witcher? have a good voice. He does, but I, I don't that. need him. Like, his his wig was atrocious. Yeah, the hair is weird. He looks quite nice shirtless. I'll give him that. Oh, yeah, but compared to him and Henry Cavill, it's yeah, like, come on, he, dude. Yeah, you're he like, gets shirtless, Henry Cavill doesn't. What's going on here? Like, what's, That is strange, although he was hurt for a big part of it. In fact, I think they incorporated it into his costume. There's that whole half of the season where his leg was bandaged. Because oh, he was yeah. injured on set. Oh, was he really? Mm-hmm. The other thing that I thought was interesting uh, was Henry Cavill's like a a Witcher encyclopedia. He's a big fan of The Witcher and has played the games. And I think he's a big fan of Witcher 3. And new things, he knew that the writers were making mistakes. Because I don't think the writers care that much about the games or know anything about or it. Or competent writers. Yeah, the writers are not that competent. Because they should just let Henry Cavill do everything. Because they, they're just... So they were going to have a joke with the horse, Roach. Roach um, dies, right, in this season. Because those people are dicks. They could have saved the horse. Well, the horse didn't they were going to have a joke about it, though. They were going to make a joke. It was going to be the butt of a joke that Roach died because they didn't understand that people actually genuinely liked the horse. So Henry Cavill's like, yo, you cannot have people making fun of the, the horse dying. Like, people love the horse. The horse has been in all the games, like... And it's a big moment for him to lose, like, his thing. You always see him. Like, he talks to the horse. The horse took care of Siri. Like, he, he clearly loves the horse. That prayer, he says a prayer for the horse, and he took it from the end of one of the games. So I thought that was really cool that they gave Henry Cavill the chance to, like, no, I know what's going on here. Can anyone please explain to me why they won't have this guy? This guy is on one of the top shows in the world several seasons in a row and they won't let him play Superman again? Like, what is wrong with him? That is they true. They have him signed for a contract. The man's an asset. He's a great actor. He's clearly magnetic on screen. Just let him be James Women Bond. Women love him. Men love him. James Bond. I don't want him to be James Bond. Want him to be James everything. Bond's, just p- put him in everything. Make him Doesn't Batman. Matter. Do a do like a flashpoint reversal and he, <laughs> he's Batman. Yeah, he's, he's Batman. Make him everything. One thing that that's interesting, and I saw this article, fans have... Sp- Spent 400 million hours the watching show ain't this that season good. Like, two. Let's calm down. That's just how many people are. Although it's, it's watching not bad. It. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's their most watched show. It's still in their top ten. I think it's definitely. 
I, I, it's set up for season three, but it's clearly getting a season three. Yes, I think they paid him something outrageous too. Like I think he makes a million dollars an episode, which isn't actually that much compared to like the Friends people all made a million dollars an episode. Like but 20 they were years like ago. twenty five episodes. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He only did what ten or eight. Eight. Eight episodes. So he's, if he's gotten a million every episode, he's only gotten sixteen. Okay, and that's, that's kind still a of a good amount of money, though. Yeah, but it's also less than you would make in a uh, movie. Yeah, and more work. It did lose the top spot to Cobra Kai. Cobra Booyah. Kai is awesome. Cobra Kai will never die. Uh, but it's definitely it, it's just interesting because uh, it, it's killing it. It's doing really well. So, and I want it to do well. There is a good show inside of this show. They just haven't really gotten there yet. I kind of like the Monster of the Week format in the beginning. I thought it was interesting to kind of keep, you know, break the show up a little bit because them trying to do that crazy timeline overlapping nonsense didn't make a whole ton of sense. And then having the side characters cover it was like, I don't know. Like those side characters. Like that was the scene I was trying to explain to you that was ridiculous. Do you remember the scene where um, the, the female Niflheimer she slips them the nightshade yeah and it was paralyzed? gruesome but yeah but it was ridiculous i was just like this is stupid yeah where she slowly they're like them. mid scene they're like oh that at least cast magic on them or something they're all like oh, i can't move if you were paralyzed you would just fall to the ground like you don't just sit there and wait for someone to stab you in the eye it's yeah. not how that works like frozen that's the scene was so stu- it made me laugh when i saw it First, I cringed when I saw her go in through that dude's eye. And then the rest of it, while she's talking, I was like, she's not selling this real good. Yeah, it was it was dumb. And they could explain, like, the explanation for the, the weird witch thing that was the undying witch, I just was Shit not. Shit just kind of happened. Yeah, without explanation, stuff just kind of happened and things would go on. And some scenes were way, way too long. There was a lot of fat in this. Like, they should have trimmed a lot of it too much vamping they didn't resolve the monsters going after siri that didn't really want to kill her yeah they were just trying to grab her like they didn't explain any Why of it they're trying to grab her i don't well are they trying to grab aggressive? up on her probably were they trying to take her as their pet or was she their leader calling to them there's many options here yes all of the above and then the whole obelisk thing like new monsters came like i guess they explained it but then i don't know people just like kind of came in the show and left the show and in the show Yennefer is good, then bad, then good, then bad, then still no tits regardless. Or like, come on. Come on, man. Yeah, so I am still a fan. I like it. I will watch another. It's earned. I will watch another season. What we won't but... watch is that horrible teaser for the Oh, my fucking word. Fucking uh, origin of something or other. Talk about. Blood and origin. Yes. Witcher, like, let's get one of every flavor and diversify. And then we'll go and. and it, if you what is it? How is it connect? It doesn't seem like it's connected to the Witcher. If it didn't in say the shape, Witcher's blood and origin or never whatever know. it's called, I'd be like, this just looks like a horrible magic show yeah it's just like some woke joke show like it's ridiculous it does not look good at all i do recommend the animated one because they weren't paying attention to and they just let it slide and it's very gory has a lot of good stuff in it that thing that prequel show looks ridiculous just so stupid so bad unless henry cavill's in it not gonna watch it yeah not gonna watch it so Anything else you'd like to say about The Witcher 2? Uh, just more more shirtless Kevil and and more shirtless uh, whoever that uh, main girl, Yennefer, is. Yennefer. He looked pretty dope in his like armor. He does. He looks pretty dope. Looks dope in everything. I, th- I think the costumes are great. Like, it's a nice wig. Yeah, I, I like I think the, the wig. Yeah, I think I, I like his eyes. I think all of it. Like, it must be uncomfortable wearing those contacts all the time. Probably. All probably. the fucking characters have like colored schemed weird. eyes. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yennefer's gr- purple eyes are kind of hot though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. It is on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. And you can also catch our live stream, 7.30 p.m. Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time. Please like and subscribe. We could definitely use your help. Because if you don't, Noob Noob may do this. We'll go to the grocery store, buy a bunch of eggplant, and attempt to cook you an eggplant parm. Maybe we'll have a nice meal, get some wine, 
It's not gonna taste good though, because I can't cook, so be prepared for that. The disappointment might, you know, burrow inside. We're gonna have some arguments, probably divorce in 10 years. And uh, yeah, we'll be upset, but the kids will be happy, I think. Oh, you'll have kids? Well, I pro hopefully, I, I wanna have kids with all my fans. Okay. Male, female, each and fan. Each of them. All of them. All and of eggplant together farm. in the liminal order. At the same time. Anyway. With, with Jack Murphy. Obviously. Anyway, uh, that's all from us here, and we are on to the next one. Thank <laughs> you.